Hey, it's the Drive to School podcast, and it's Friday, so you know what that means. It's things that you will see in church this Sunday. This Sunday will be the third Sunday in Advent, and the Old Testament lesson that you might hear in church this Sunday is one of my favorite passages in the whole Bible. So I'm going to read it to you because more Bible is good for you. Isaiah chapter 40. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries, in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level and the rough places a plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord is spoken. A voice says, cry. And I said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass. All of its beauty is like the flower of the field. The grass withers. The flower fades when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers. The flower fades. But the word of our God will stand forever. This is one of my favorite texts because um, it's what pastors do. It's why we study the Bible. It's why we go to Bible study. It's why you watch theology on social media. All theology is done for the comfort of troubled consciences. This is why. The Bible is not meant to be a weapon against the world. This is not your basic instructions before leaving earth. That's all law. And honestly, everybody already has the law. Everybody already has rules that they're supposed to live by, and none of them bring comfort because we break them. We sin. Or we minimize the law so that we finally can fulfill them to the point where they don't actually do or mean anything anymore. None of this stuff has actually helped. Look around. It's dark. There's not a lot of comfort down here. You know all of the rules that you're supposed to follow as a Christian, but the grass still withers and the flower still fades. Sin still breaks stuff. The law just tells you what went wrong. It labels our selfishness in all of the forms that it takes, one through ten. It lays out the sides, not just us against the God who gave us the rules, us rebelling against God as sinners, but us against life itself. You can tell simply because the grass still withers and the flower still fades when the breath of the Lord blows upon it and surely the people are grass. The law tells us the problem. It can't fix it, though. We haven't found a way to not die yet. This is ultimately why the Lord advents, why God shows up. It's not to strike down the sinners or punish the sinners or catch us doing bad things and then put us in time out that is the weeping and gnashing of teeth for all of eternity. It's to save his people. That's why God shows up, to lift up every valley, to knock over every hill, to reveal the very truest glory of God, not power, but mercy, not simply exercising wrath, but fixing all that sin destroyed, bearing a cross for you, for me, for all of the world. Christianity is Jesus saving sinners. The comfort that we talk about is the gospel, Jesus saving sinners. All of this is where your iniquity is pardoned. It's where your warfare against God is ended. It's where you have received double from the Lord's hand for all of your sins. Not just forgiveness for all of your sins, but even the reward of Jesus keeping the law for you. And that sounds wonderful. It's enough to talk about until you realize that it doesn't actually do what you want it to do. Because you can know all about Jesus. You can trust him deep down in your heart. You can be baptized, but the grass still withers. We still sin, following the law outwardly, even as Christians can't stop it, even if life would go a little bit better if we sinned a little bit less. But even baptized, I still have problems. And honestly, sometimes the faith only seems to make things worse. Now you have become a target for those who hate the law because they think you only stand to condemn them. You stand as a target for those also who hate the gospel because the devil really only cares about hunting the Christians and you are still left with your neighbor and their sins and you and and yours. People will do terrible things to each other. Now we just have a book to quote and feel superior while we do it. The law comes to increase the trespass. It's not good. This is why sin hurts worse in the church. We actually know. This is why we still struggle with sin, with suffering, with death, and it doesn't get any easier until eventually we just get numb to it. It's a bleak picture until you actually realize what the prophet is being promised. See, the grass was never supposed to be the thing that endured. 
the word of the Lord endures forever. The word is what lasts. Our frustration is that we want to find a way to keep the flowers in the field forever. Pause time at the very best part of your life. Just keep things right, right there. And our frustration is that most people really have confused calm with comfort. We want a way to freeze frame in the moments of calm. Our Lord promises comfort. Calm is where nothing's wrong. Calm is where nothing can go wrong. But comfort is not simply nothing wrong. Comfort is not the absence of bad things. Comfort is the presence of something good. The flesh which withers and fades is met with the word of the Lord that endures forever. The word of God advents. Jesus shows up to actually offer you something good to hang on to when everything else is falling apart, even when it's your fault. The word of the Lord endures forever, not to condemn, but to over and over again promise mercy, promise forgiveness, promise life to the dying that even death cannot destroy. The Lord speaks and tells Isaiah exactly what to say. In the midst of pain and brokenness, sin and sorrow, death and despair, speak about Christ. There, there's a promise that we can hang on to. He will tend to his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms. He will carry them in his bosom and gently lead those that are with young. The thing that endures, long past the flowers, long past the grass, is comfort, the presence of something good. Because God advents, he shows up over and over again in your church, in the word, in communion, the body and blood of Jesus, in all of the ways that God has promised to actually be there and give you something that endures everything that falls apart. He offers comfort to you. So go to church this Sunday and uh, get some of that. Yeah. <laughs>